President Ali Bongo attends the funeral of a young police officer shot dead during last month's contested presidential election. Bongo says he won the vote. Jean-Ping came in second, with only 6,000 votes separating the two candidates. The opposition says Bongo cheated. Ping, they believe, is the actual winner, and so they continue to protest. Back at the funeral, we ask President Bongo, what will he do to bring back people's confidence in the electoral process? We're a civilized nation, and whatever the situation, we have laws and institutions that can deal with these problems, like the one we're facing now. It can be resolved peacefully, and I believe in these institutions. But many have been killed, hundreds more injured or arrested in recent days of violence. I voted for Jean Ping, and we'll fight to get our candidate in power. That fight is no longer on the streets, but online. The opposition uses social media to reach its supporters and share videos like this to show what they describe as a government crackdown. Text messaging services and other social media are blocked, and the Internet is entirely shut down at night. If you cut Internet, it is as if you, you kill young Gabonese people. And if there is no Internet, people could not know what is happening. That's why Ali Bongo decided to, to cut Internet. The government denies shutting it down. Security forces say they want to avoid violence like this. Gabon's national parliament was set on fire after the election results were announced. When the president would visit the National Assembly, he would sit just over here. Underneath him, the prime minister. And here is where the ruling party MPs would sit. On the other side was where the opposition would be seated. No one has claimed responsibility for this, not the opposition, nor anybody else for that matter. For 49 years, the Bongo family has maintained power, largely thanks to a steady flow of oil money, the support of the elite, men in uniform, and France, the former colonial ruler. On Friday, the Constitutional Court will decide if Bongo will stay in office or make way for new leadership. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Libreville.